humanity awakens. We hurl ourselves into the unknown, shattering the chains of gravity. This is our odyssey, the dawn of a new frontier, where we will rise among the stars. Behold the voyager of destiny, bearing humanity's greatest gift, a cargo forged in innovation's fire. Not mere tools, but the seeds of transformation to conquer the moon's extreme environment, deliver survival in vacuum's embrace, and birth a new epoch of existence. Here lie the echoes of giants, the Apollo astronauts' daring visions, NASA's unyielding vision, civilization's unbreakable will. We honor their legacy not as visitors, but as pioneers returned. This time, we claim the moon to stay, to build, and to thrive. This is Lungs, lunar glass structures. Lunar regolith is rich in silicates and metal compounds that are essential to melt and blow large monolithic spherical glass enclosures. The furnace's microwave melting technology with its unique energy efficient systems and faster melting of glass compounds will be designed and built on Earth and transported via a capable lunar lander. The furnace's upper area will be filled with raw lunar glass compound. When it reaches the desired melting temperature, a blowing metal pipe will move upwards and catch a batch of melted compound and take it out of the furnace. Then, using a pressurized gas injected inside the pipe, it will start the blowing process. The furnace will be capable of blowing large concentric glass spheres. The design will provide structural integrity against extreme temperatures, micrometeorite impacts, solar and galactic cosmic radiation, and seismic activity from moonquakes. The gap between each sphere will be filled with compressed argon gas to add a more robust thermal insulation to the interior of the habitat. The smaller inner sphere will be enclosed by two outer spheres and filled with loose regolith to provide thermal and radiation protection to the interior living spaces the nest which will be designed to be the central living and working area of the habitat by providing all the necessary environmental control. This inner self-sustained living area will be designed to host all of the amenities, living spaces, working areas, social and communal spaces, exercise, and farming areas. The habitat interior will be designed to minimize structural density while enhancing functionality, openness, and interconnectivity between spaces. The central core elevator system will connect each floor through a series of free-floating bridges to the living and working areas, which will be situated along the facing walls of the spheres. As we celebrate humanity's shared triumph in reaching beyond our origins, this creation, born from our collective ingenuity and in situ lunar resources, crafts a resilient sanctuary that shields us from the void's challenges while fostering sustainable communities. It embodies our unyielding drive to explore, adapt, and thrive as a species, marking a profound step toward a multi-planetary future where we build new homes among the stars. And we'll live for eternity.